story. I had already decided to do an episode on black people with blue eyes and then I saw a comment on the Clark Gable video about there was no way Clark Gable could be black because he had blue eyes. So here we are. It should be an interesting discussion. If you're not familiar with me, I am Dr. Trish Varner. I actually have three channels. On this channel, I share interesting stories about discoveries, which usually involve ancestry, genetics, or DNA. If you think that's something you might be interested in, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post new content. I am an IO psychologist, which means I have studied the psychology of people to apply these principles to systems and workplaces. I do have a career channel called The Career Craver Guide. I have started a new series on that channel where I will be covering true workplace stories such as crimes that people commit in the workplace, secret love affairs, and many other real life situations that happen at work. I will have a link to that channel in the description box below if you want to check it out. My third channel, The Peyton and Kara Show, provides a behind the scene look into our family so go check out my other channels if you're interested. A couple of months ago, I came across Sydney Black's YouTube channel. I watched a couple of her videos before coming across the one she did about her blue eyes. Initially, when I first saw her picture, I probably thought she wore contacts, like I imagine a lot of other people assume that too. She has beautiful brown skin and stunning blue eyes, that contrast so well together. You may already be familiar with Sydney as she does have 1.2 million subscribers. After seeing a picture of her as a child, I realized I had seen her picture circulating several years ago. I also saw a picture of this cute little baby boy with blue eyes circulating around the same time. At the time, people thought for sure their picture had been photoshopped. Several years later, these adorable twins, Morgan and Megan, started popping up all over social media. One of the twins has two blue eyes and one twin has one blue eye and one brown eye. Their mother also has blue eyes. There is something that I think all of these beautiful brown people with blue eyes have in common. Let's take a look at a clip from Sydney Black's video that talks about her blue eyes. Both of my parents are black and I never understood why people would ask me if I was mixed because I don't think I look mixed. Like, do I look mixed? I don't think I do. So that was the first article I found on Google and I was like, oh, you know, like, oh, I, don't, I don't really think this is me. Like, my eyes don't look like that one and... I'm not, I'm darker complexion than these people. So I don't think this is why my eyes are blue. So the next article I found talked about Wanderberg syndrome, which I've had a couple people comment that below on my on my videos and tell me that they think I have Wanderberg syndrome. Um, and I've never really looked into it again, cause I don't care. But since I was doing research, I decided to click and see what it was about. But what's interesting about number two and why I think I have Wanderberg syndrome number two is because people with number two Wanderberg syndrome suffer from a hearing loss and I'm deaf in my left ear. Like I can't hear absolutely anything in my left ear, nothing. One of the symptoms of Wardenberg syndrome can be the light blue eyes that you see in the individuals I have shown so far. Wardenberg syndrome is a genetic condition that can cause symptoms such as changes in pigmentation in the hair, skin, and eyes. It can also cause hearing loss, a symptom that Sydney Black has. This condition can cause light blue eyes or one blue eye and one brown eye as well. One eye could also have segments of two different colors. Have you ever seen a child with a white or gray patch of hair? There's a good chance they may also have Wardenberg syndrome. This is caused by a lack of pigmentation. Wardenberg syndrome is caused by a genetic mutation and can occur in any race or country. 
Blue eyes in general can occur in any race or country as well. I know we are used to seeing blue eyes in European countries, but in general, blue eyes can show up anywhere. Blue eyes are caused by recessive traits, so keep in mind that most of the world has brown eyes. About 8 to 10% of the world's population has blue eyes. Scientists believe that the human population started with brown eyes, which were important to protect the eyes from being damaged by ultraviolet radiation and bright sunlight. As people migrated to other areas, the need for that protection became less important. Here are the top 10 countries with the highest percentages of blue eyes. By the way, the United States is 18th on the list with 16.6% .6 of the population having blue eyes. The majority of the people in Africa do have dark colored eyes. There is speculation that the first occurrence of blue eyes was in Europe about six to 10,000 years ago. And it is said that people with blue eyes today descended from that one individual. Remember, blue eyes started as a mutation. Even though the majority of people in Africa have dark eyes, blue eyes can be found there. Keep in mind though that some parts of Africa experienced several years of colonization, which may have resulted in mixed ancestry. This is true in the United States as well. The majority of black Americans have mixed ancestry, which also means a diversity of genetics is possible. Our youngest daughter has red hair and we are always asked about it. Sometimes people think we dye her hair just like Sydney Black gets accused of wearing contacts and being ashamed of her blackness, according to what she said in her video. People always seem to want to prejudge situations when they don't have all the details. Interestingly, redheads with blue eyes are the rarest individuals in the world. However, Black Americans have even shown that combination. We've been following a little girl on Instagram with red hair and blue eyes, and her family is obviously brown. So how can you inherit blue eyes? Since it's a recessive trait, both parents have to carry the trait and pass it down to their children. Two brown-eyed people can have a child with blue eyes, though. Also, we should know that two blue-eyed people may not have a child with blue eyes. Back in the day, if that happened, the father may have questioned whether or not he was the father. These things could have led to a lot of divorces. However, there is a better understanding of how genetics work now. Geneticists now believe that eye color is influenced by the interaction of as many as 16 different genes. This chart has traditionally been used to predict eye color, but with the advances in the understanding of genetics, it may be time to rethink the chart. It's probably time to rethink the idea too that black people can't have blue eyes. We live in a society though where colored eyes seem to be valued more than dark eyes. There are people out there who choose to wear colored contacts and I'm not mad at them. I'm not judging their decision. I personally find beauty in all combinations and especially when you see the combinations of people next to each other. It's one thing to wear contacts, but it's another to permanently change your eye color. If you're familiar with Tamika Tiny Harris, then you know that she had a procedure done to change her eye color from brown to a really light blue or light gray using the bright ocular surgery. Bright ocular is an artificial iris implant which involves using medical grade silicone to alter the iris appearance. It sounds like something I'm not brave enough to do, even if I did want to change my eye color. I'm happy with my dark brown eyes though, so I think I will keep them. By the way, if you are thinking about using the bright ocular process to permanently change your eye color, you might want to know that the procedure costs between $5,000 and $10,000.
I think I'm good. I think people who were questioning if black people can have blue eyes may have forgotten there have been black celebrities with blue eyes. For example, Vanessa Williams. She was crowned the first African-American Miss America in 1983. Vanessa's brother, Chris Williams, also has blue eyes, and so did their dad. Vanessa and her family are multi-generational admixed, like many Black Americans. Vanessa did share her admixture on Ancestry.com. It shows she is 57% African, but she does have high percentages from other places as well, including Europe. On average, most Black Americans have 15 to 25 percent European ancestry. I think Vanessa Williams' family is an example of not knowing what phenotype you might get with Black Americans. We are really a very diverse group of people. Did you see a blue iris when your children were born? Statistically, many babies are born with blue eyes as it takes some time to develop the melanin needed to darken their eyes. It may take even a few years before a child's permanent eye color is revealed. It's not uncommon to see mixed race babies with blue eyes. Some people may think they got their blue eyes from their white parent. However, remember that blue eyes come from recessive traits. This means both parents have to possess the recessive trait to pass on to their child. So this means a biracial child with blue eyes inherited the trait from their white parent and their black parent. This works in a similar way to how red hair is inherited. And I already have a video on that. I will link it above in case you want to check that out. There are black people on TV with blue eyes besides Vanessa Williams. Michael Ely has very engaging blue eyes. Do you remember Jeremy Meeks, the ex-con turned model? James Earl Jones is known for more than his remarkable voice and acting skills. Check out his blue eyes. Then there's actor Jesse Williams. Gary Dorden looks like he has hazel eyes. Smokey Robinson has green eyes. Then there's also Terrence Howard and Robert Richard. To sum it up, just like in all ethnicities, blue eyes in African American people can be caused by many different things. Wardenburg syndrome is a condition that can affect the pigmentation in the eyes. Ocular albinism is another condition that can affect pigmentation in the eyes. This condition is most often seen in males and the most common type of this condition, type 1, is usually inherited from the mother, although the mother may show no signs of the condition herself. Black people with blue eyes may have also inherited the trait from the same common ancestor as white people with blue eyes. An ancestor who is thought to have arrived in Europe between 6,000 and 10,000 years ago. Scientists have also discovered through genetic testing that the hunter-gatherers in Europe actually had dark skin, dark hair, and blue eyes. They were able to determine this by extracting DNA from skeletons of individuals who lived about 7,000 years ago. This changed their thinking that the first people in Europe had pale skin and light hair and eyes. The discovery has led scientists to believe that people with dark skin and hair actually lived in Europe for about 40,000 years before the skin lightened to what many people see in Europe today. I will link the article in the description box below if you want to read more about it. Obviously, genetics are not always as simple as we think, and we are still discovering things about human beings and our history that we previously did not know. 
Regardless if you have blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes, hazel eyes, or something else, beauty comes in every shade and can even be in the eye of the beholder. Do you know brown people with blue eyes? Do blue eyes run in your family? Don't forget to leave a comment. Also give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting. And you may also want to consider subscribing if you would like to see more content. Thanks for watching and I will see you again soon.